Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Thomas Clan. Today we're going to be doing a very special project. We're going to be making our seed starting soil mix uh, for all of our seeds for this year's garden. So uh, let's take a look. So if you'll excuse the mess on our very small front porch, I'm going to show you guys what we're doing to build our, to make our soil this year. So this is going to be the bin that we put all the soil in. This is actually going to be a screen that we use and you'll, uh, to sift everything through and you're going to see that process here in a few minutes. Uh, this is going to be the base ingredient, which is a staminate peak moss, um, uh, organic. Then we have uh, lawn garden lime, pulverized lime, lime powder. Um, the reason for this is to neutralize the acidity of the peat moss, uh, so that way it doesn't uh, burn or kill off any of the of the plant uh, uh, of the seedlings as they grow. Now, obviously, we don't need all three bags. I just got a really fantastic deal. Um, probably only going to use about half to two thirds of one of these bags at the most, one full bag. Um, and then the rest of it's actually going to go into the gardens to neutralize the soil for when we uh, set all the plants out later in the spring. Uh, this right here is perlite. Perlite is a volcanic rock which uh, helps with soil absorption um, and also and, and, and adds some really nice depth. Uh, really, really helps the gar the, uh, the seedlings grow. Then here's vermiculite. Vermiculite does a very similar thing, but in a slightly different way. Uh, then, uh, well, you can see the buckets in the back. We're gonna be using the buckets for a lot of uh, a lot of projects this year. And then we also have some organic green sand, for, which will also uh, help with. Uh, some drainage help it had uh, the green sand also has a little bit of a uh, little bit of food in it uh, uh, To kind of help the plants um, And then well, I don't have my worm castings out here right now. Well, I have the almost empty bag uh, We're also going to be putting a little bit of worm castings uh, And the reason for the worm castings is uh, to add just a little bit of food. We don't want to give them too much food because the seedlings basically feed themselves till they get to a certain size. Uh, but once they are, once they are at the size that they do need a little bit of food, uh, uh, worm castings is, is is going to be a great source. Uh, so that's what. So that's going to be the main part of it. What we're going to do is we're going to show you uh, what we're going to take you along as we screen through and and get all the. The ingredients mix so uh, enjoy the video just keep it over the middle buddy so as you can see after we take the peat moss and get it in the kids are working working it very well to get it through the grating now the reason why we're putting it through a screen is as you can see here there's a lot of large pieces that don't go through and those can inhibit the growth oh careful guys hold on time out now put this back on here there we go I'll hold side. all right so basically these larger pieces could inhibit the growth of the of the seed so, uh, which we don't want that, but we are going to save this larger stuff for uh, future applications. And so we'll check back in again in a in a minute and show you uh, where things are going. All right. So after only about ten minutes, Audrey, Landon, and myself were able to get almost two cubic feet 
worth of peat moss completely screened and ready for the next in ingredients, uh, which next is going to be the lime and the perlite. Now one quick disclaimer when you're working with perlite or with pulverized lime, you're going to want to use a face mask because if you inhale these, they will irritate your lungs. So you really don't want to be messing with that. Even the macho guys out there, you know, uh, uh, watching this video, use safety equipment. A face mask is like, it's like a five pack for 250 at Home Depot. Just go out and get it and, and wear it. It's the safe way to go. It's what you're going to want to do. Okay, so we poured in a little bit more than half, almost two thirds of the 50 pound bag of pulverized lime. And right now <laughs> we have the kids starting to mix it on in. I'm going to be helping them to really make sure it all gets mixed in well. Uh, with the lime, it's going to neutralize the soil so that way the acidity of the peat moss doesn't, uh, doesn't kill off the plant. So I'm going to get to work with them and uh, we'll check back in with you in a few minutes. Okay, so after mixing in the perlite, you can see perlite there uh, in with the peat moss and the, uh, the lime. I put in the rest of the ingredients so you can see there's the vermiculite. Actually, the vermiculite goes quite deep. I use about half of that large bag you saw at the beginning of the video. And then this is the, uh, the, the green sand, which is just a, you know, it's just a nice fine sand. Um, if you want, you can get regular sand as well if you're on a budget. Um, but the kind that I use basically just has like a little bit of the nutrients built in as well to help out with the plants. Uh, and then the rest is darker matter you see that's uh, earthworm cat or that's worm castings, uh, which shameless plug. Again, not being sponsored, but I get mine from and my gardener, Raw and Organic. Uh, so basically, uh, I didn't add too much. I basically, I added one bag and about three tablespoons that was left in an old bag. Um, so it's, it's just over two pounds of worm castings for a very, very large container. So we essentially, when this is all done, this is about five cubic feet. It's actually a little less. If this was completely full, it would be five cubic feet. Um, so you can see it's, it's really not a lot of worm castings. It's going to be dug in. Uh, uh, it's gonna be mixed in pretty well, so uh, I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna I'm going to uh, Start mixing it in now, and uh, I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit Before I close out this video. I just want to share with you guys a couple of quick things um, I showed you guys the ingredients at the beginning all the different things I was using and so I wanted to show you guys We still have a lot left over uh, Basically everything is still about half full uh, the perlite's actually a little bit more than half full. Um, and, and one thing that I wanted to bring up, you know, I, I talk a lot about budgeting and how important it is to get the value out of everything you can. Now, as you can see, we're mixing, it's uh, about five cubic uh, uh, feet of seed starting soil, which, at the, which I actually have from last year, some Jiffy seed soil, uh, which is 12 quarts which I will not be using this year because I don't need it. Um, but I have some of that seed starting soil and I just want to point out that I would need about 60 to 80, possibly even more than that, uh, 60 to 80 bags of that to be able to produce the amount of uh, seed starting soil that I just produced. Now those bags at Walmart are $5 each. So that's three to $400 worth of seed starting a soil that I produced and I'll be able to do it again so I'm basically going to be producing anywhere from six to eight hundred dollars worth of seed starting soil and all of these ingredients cost me less than eighty dollars uh, seventy nine dollars and some change to be exact I think I think the cents was sixty three but I don't know I got the receipts inside um, but either way less than eighty dollars is what it cost me uh, to make all of this and this is turning into all of our seed starting mix for the year it's going to turn into potting soil for some of our other for our containing uh, our container garden garden uh, projects that we're going to be doing this year and we'll still probably have a little bit left and even if we don't I still have enough to do the exact same thing next year so that's that's an incredible value that's something that you can't beat it took me with the kids helping with the first couple of ingredients it was only about 20 minutes 25 minutes at the most that we were all working together mixing in the last 
three ingredients and mixing it up myself it took about another 20 to 25 minutes and that includes the time that I stopped to film so we're talking about 50 about 50 total minutes of work here and we have an incredible amount of value here so less than an hour and it would probably have been barely over a half hour if I didn't stop to film but that's okay I want to take you guys along for the journey so uh, so let's wrap up this video and we'll see you soon all right so there you have it homemade uh, seed starting mix um, just a couple of tips a couple of things I want to uh, make mention of uh, for you guys at home uh, one quick tip when you're making this uh, is do it a little bit at a time with each ingredient go in between all the ingredients today I did each uh, uh, ingredient in full uh, uh, without mixing in between but if you do it a little bit at a time you know maybe doing a quarter of the measurement of what you're going to use for each ingredient and then just going back through the list it makes it a lot easier to mix in the end, I mean, I'm getting my workout in, turning all this dirt in this little bucket that's in this bucket that's now almost completely full. Um, so you're going to want to do that. It's going to make it a lot easier for you. Uh, two, you want to make sure, even though like it's it's gonna, <coughs> it's not gonna, it's gonna look uh, well, kind of light, but that's okay. Um, you want to make sure that you don't um, overdo it with uh, the worm castings. Um, for now, um, when basically there's going to be some future videos where I turn what I don't use from the seed starting this mix this year into a potting soil. Um, and so, uh, in, in which there will be more worm castings and I'll show you guys that video in a couple of weeks, uh, actually maybe even a little bit more than a month from now. Um, but that, that video will be coming. Um, but you definitely, definitely want to wear the mask for uh, all of the finer ingredients the sand the perlite which will really irritate your lungs the lime uh, and even the vermiculite powder a little bit but not too much because it's also a rock um, I did run everything through that screen that I'm pointing to right there because um, even uh, you know e even the fine things like the pearl you just want to make sure everything gets separated very very well uh, which will make it easier to mix and also in the case of like the earthworms castings there are a lot of bunches of dirt which you know you just rub it through the screen and breaks it apart helps it retain that nice fluffy light texture which is going to help your seeds grow uh, so I hope you you guys enjoyed this video. Please put a comment below on what you guys think. If you guys think I should do anything different, if you guys do something different, I'd love to hear your suggestions. Please like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I look forward to being in the garden with you guys a lot this year. Thank you so much. Bye.